Unseen by the enemy, the blind spot welcomed them. As they neared, the Titan's guns charged with a hum. On Pierce's order, precise blasts of energy sliced the depot's shields apart. Explosions rocked the base. Structures buckled and twisted, pipelines ruptured, resources spewing into space. The wound was mortal, the heart of their logistics destroyed. Direct hit, Commander. They won't recover from this, Harper said, victory flickering in her eyes. Pierce allowed himself a tight smile, still watching the destruction. Good. Tell Soren withdraw. We're done here. His gravelly voice held command and success. The Titan vanished back into the darkness of space, cloaked once more. They left behind a crippled foe, the outcome clear across the galaxy. The destruction of the Talaxian fuel depots sent their communications into chaos. Distress calls erupted from the wreckage. In the galactic council chambers, the ambassadors whispered to each other. They knew who had struck such a blow, the humans. On the Titan's bridge, the air pulsed with focus. Screens flowed with data. Lieutenant Harper stood at her station with fingers flying and eyes darting, taking in each bite. Commander Pierce leaned in next to her, watching the flickering symbols and text. Report, Harper, Pierce said, cutting through the activity's hum. Sir, the Talaxian response is breaking down. We've got openings at their third and seventh outposts. Their ships limp along, systems failing. We hit fast and hard, then get out before they regroup. Pierce nodded. Mark the targets, prep the jumps. Harper's orders ricocheted through the Titan. The crew moved with precision and haste, embracing the rhythm as they readied the assault. The jump drives growled, building to a thunderous leap. The stars stretched and snapped back as the Titan emerged at the Talaxian system's edge. The command center's screens pulsed with enemy coordinates. Pierce locked his gaze onto the holographic display, a miniature universe laid out before him. Open fire sequences, Harper. Prepare to jump out quickly. Her voice stayed crisp. Sequences ready. Jump drive standing by. The Titan's weapons unleashed chaos into the silence of space. Energy bolts hammered the outposts. Shields flared and sputtered as structures crumbled. Pierce issued deliberate, swift orders. Status, Harper, he called out. First outpost is down, moving to the second. Pierce's finger hovered over a button. At his press, the Titan's engines roared, propelling them toward the next target. A second outpost blinked on screen, shields up but exposed. Now Talaxian fighters scrambled flames against the void as they sought to surround the intruder. But the Titan danced gracefully and lethally. The outpost defenses flickered under relentless blows until a final concussive wave left it dark. The crew held their breath, watching as the Talaxian fighters veered away in confusion. Jump us out, now, Pierce commanded. The Titan slipped off like a phantom. They rode the current of subspace, a mere whisper against the cosmos. With the Titan's swift terror past, the Talaxians scrambled, their messages a web of panic and disorder. Earth's command centers buzzed with updates. Eyes went wide, voices rising in excitement. Word of the Titan's feats fed human spirit, a roar in the silence that once meant fear. Amidst the victory, Pierce stood still, thoughts a fortress against success's surge. Each win stacked the odds, each triumph painted a target. The Talaxians, now cornered beasts, would come at them with fangs bared. The Titan's next move lay shrouded in stars, ready for the hunt, its crew silent sentinels of a bold, undaunted world rising. The old projector rattled as it cast images on the classroom wall, Cross-legged on the floor, the kids watched Commander Nathan Pierce with wide eyes. His calm voice spoke of danger. The teacher stopped the film. She pointed at a faraway spot on the galaxy map. Here, she said, the Titan saved miners. The kids glanced between map and film. 
they script